like to speak today about uh, infection in solid organ transplantation. Uh, solid organ transplant recipients are uh, uh, subject that, that uh, because of the immunosuppressive drug that they have to take be for prevention of rejection are particularly vulnerable to multiple uh, infectious uh, agents. Uh, so they may have infection that can come from the donor, so the donor that have infection. They may have a reactivation of latent infections and they may also be exposed to uh, infections that uh, uh, are uh, in the environment, hospital environment or community environment. And uh, uh, this is uh, becoming one of the major uh, issues uh, in uh, the current days because uh, many of these uh, patients may die because uh, of multi-drug uh, resistant infection. And therefore, it is very important that uh, whenever approaching a patient after a solid organ transplant with fever that is uh, suspicious of uh, infection, to uh, make a, a workup uh, and try to make a, a clear-cut diagnosis before using any antimicrobial agents uh, that might result uh, ineffective and select for antimicrobial resistance. Because, as I was saying, one of the major concerns today is the high rate of uh, multidrug resistant uh, gram-negatives like Klebsiella pneumonia producing carbapenemase, acinetobacter, uh, again, with uh, resistant to, to carbapenems uh, and for these pathogens we are left uh, basically without no therapeutic options and the uh, uh, series of, of cases that have been reported in the literature <coughs> show uh, more than 40 percent mortality rate in patients uh, developing one of these infections after solid organ transplantation so the, the recommendation is not to use uh, uh, antimicrobials without a clear-cut reason in the setting of, uh, of solid organ transplantation.